Hello and welcome back to Awkward Bob. In this video, we're going to be showing you the brand new Chromecast with Google TV. We're going to go through the setup process and show you how it works. Let's get started. Alright, here we have the Google Chromecast with Google TV. I have been waiting for this thing to come out for some time. I've been watching a lot of the uh, um, specs that had been leaked. It, it is finally here. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. All right, when we first open it up, we see we have two separate compartments here. One has got the dongle, and the other has the brand new remote. Let's take a look at the dongle here. Okay, definitely different than prior designs. Let me show you a side-by-side -side comparison between this one and the one that just one generation before. So you see the differences, definitely bigger. I think it has to be to be able to pack a little bit more of a punch than its uh, predecessor here, but definitely, definitely a difference in size. There it is, we've got a Google search button, like a voice search, a home, a mute, a YouTube, a Netflix, a power button, it looks like a menu button, and a multi-directional button with a selection button in the middle. Alright, let's get on to the setup. The first thing you will need to do is take this and plug it directly in to the USB. That's going to hang down a lot. And let's get out the power cable. Alright, with this updated version, you can no longer plug it into the TV for power. You need to use the brick. You can't power this through the TV any longer, so you do need to use this brick. So put one side into the Chromecast. Other side into the brick here. And plug it into your outlet. All right, hold left and home. On the remote. All right. And you select your language. We'll select English. So now we've come to the setup screen. It's asking you to download the Google Home app. If you haven't already, go ahead and get that. Otherwise, we'll pull it up. So we have it pulled up. And automatically for me, it popped up to set up the Chromecast. So if it does that for you, go ahead and press that button. We'll go ahead and set up Chromecast. We're going to add it to the home. It's going to look for this device. All right, when you get, get to the screen, it's asking for camera permission. So it will actually require you to scan it if you're setting it up this way. Now it does say that you can set up on the TV instead without the uh, without the phone, without the Google Home app, but it does take longer because you have to type with um, the remote. All right, so we're going to scan this code. Let's hit QR code scanned. It's now connecting to Chromecast. Follow instructions in the Google Home app. So the setup should be fairly similar, pretty simple, straightforward to follow. All right, terms, and you'll have to accept the terms of agreement here. So additional legal terms, it says accept. And where do you want to put it? So we're going to be putting it in the family, the living room, rather. So we'll select living room. 
hit next. Create a unique nickname. Call this living room. We pick our Wi-Fi. Hit next. And it'll ask you to enter your Wi-Fi password, which I'm doing now. Now it's connecting. All right, it says it's connected. Follow the instructions in the Google Home app. Sign in with your Google account, so I will sign in. And it immediately starts doing a system update. So any firmware, software updates that it needs to download, it will do that immediately. Now to answer the question I've gotten on other uh, Chromecast videos when you're setting up, do I need Wi-Fi to be able to use the Chromecast? You will need some sort of internet. So whether that's a Wi-Fi connection or you can use a cell phone as a hotspot if your cell phone or your phone company allows you to do that, and then you'd have to use a separate device to, to cast typically. Now with this remote, that will eliminate that extra step. So you should be able to use a phone as a hotspot, again, as long as your provider allows you to do that. And then using the remote to control the system. But yes, you do need some sort of internet to be able to use this device. All right, once it downloads the update, it's going to do a restart and will finish installing the system update. And once it installs those updates, it will restart again. Now it says, follow the instructions on the Google Home app to, to finish setting it up. But there, it kicked back out of that. So I did already finish everything that had to do with this particular device. So it says, having trouble, press and hold left on the remote. So let's see if that does anything. Finish setting up with the remote. Well, we can either finish setting up the remote or go back. Let's go ahead and try to finish setting up the remote. Alright, this is where you'll select services that you currently subscribe to or will be using on this device. What that will allow you to do, it will aggregate all of the different programs from the different, uh, the different providers into one place. So we have YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video, Disney Plus, and then they have a lot more. ESPN, Peacock, CBS, Showtime, Stars. So lots of different things to choose from. So we'll select a few of those, and once we're done, we'll head over to Confirm. Control volume and power with your Chromecast remote. So set up remote. Alright, so this is kind of cool. I didn't know, realize it could do this. Um, you can tell what audio device that you use for your TV and if you want to use this to control the sound on it. You don't have to and you can skip that part, but we're going to try it. And do sound bar. What's the brand of this, this sound bar is Sony. Says you'll hear music next. Okay. If you can't hear, make sure the volume's turned up. It is. Here are the volume buttons right on the side of the remote. Okay. They're not working, so let me click click no. Okay, volume buttons are working, so again, volume is located right there on the side of the remote. So I said, yeah, I'll say yes, it did. Alright, you can even power off the TV with it, so pick your TV brand. We have a Vizio. I think it's going to do the same thing, so you have a power here, down in the bottom left. 
Press power button once, the TV should turn off. No, oh, the Chromecast did. So it's basically trying and going through the different codes. So it did not power off the TV. So we'll put no. And we'll hit power again. It says to wait about eight seconds. And I think the TV did in fact turn off. Yeah, it went completely off. So we'll turn back on with this remote. How cool is this? A one-stop shop for this tiny remote will control everything. All right, so it did work, so we're going to say yes. And Chromecast remote is set up, so let's hit next. And it's installing all the different apps that we chose, some extra apps that we want. Those are all installed already. Okay, so this, we can start exploring because Chromecast the Google TV is ready so let's start exploring alright so on this you have options here to search suggestions for you movies shows apps and library so with this for for you it gives me options things that we can watch things that are trending things that we may want to see and it gives our apps right across the top here. What happened? I'm not sure what happened. Alright, everything went away for a minute. I don't know why. Alright, so that's items for you. We can go to movies and it's strictly going to show movies that we have available to us on our different uh, apps that we have that, that will have accounts, TV shows that you will that you can have access to. Again, a lot of these are subscription based so if you don't have Netflix and it shows a Netflix new movie, you don't have Disney Plus, it shows that it's a Disney Plus movie, you won't be able to watch it. So in this case, I thought it strictly only showed but it does have Peacock on here and we don't have Peacock so. Um, so I may be strictly to the oop, see, um, froze up again. All right, and then the other thing to search for, um, you can either go on screen using the remote, go over to search here and search, or you can press this button. Let's try it out. It says hold the assistant button down and talk. Bunked on Netflix. So it will pull up show on Netflix. Now we're not going to be logged in. So you will have to go through and log in to all these different accounts. It's pretty cool that you can just hold down this button to search. So you can search across platform. And if, it, if you don't say provider, let's see if it just works. Bunked. So it does know. So I don't, you don't even have to say provider. It'll immediately go to the provider that you can watch it on and if you have access to it log in and log in once and it'll be there for you so you can go through add it on watch list find out information about the show cast members and then related shows that you might also like and it'll tell you below each thing where you can find them so it's pretty cool uh, pretty cool option now you can use the back button at any time to go back to the main menu. If you hit back button one more time, it'll take you to this like screensaver screen. But then to get back, you can just hit home. It'll take you right back to this menu. At any point you can search by just holding down and saying what show you want to watch. You can mute here. You can turn volume up and down here on the side. It has a dedicated YouTube and Netflix button. And now that we have it set up, we can also power off using this power button. So, if you go up to the library, 
it shows any TV shows or movies that you've purchased here by default. So these are both through YouTube. That's why they're showing up here. Also, if you add a show or movie to your watch list, so if we select Nightmare Before Christmas, add it to watch list right here. If we go back and go over to library, now it's on the watch list. So if you, if you find something that you want to see that you don't want to watch right now, add it to your watch list and it'll be there for you later. All right, so that was the Google Chromecast with Google TV. Uh, I love this little remote. I love the voice search feature. Um, it's really easy to use. It's a little slick. It can, I can see it being a little slick or slippery. It might fall out of your hand, but um, I love that you can control the volume and the power with this one device I, or this one remote. I, I hate when you're using one of these smart devices and you're needing to go from pausing to controlling the volume and you're using one remote for one thing and your device for another. You don't even have to pull the device out anymore. With this remote, keep your phone in your pocket or just keep using it however you're using it. And uh, search for programs, watch TV, mark things on your favorite list or your watch list. It'll go over into the library so you remember to watch it later. Uh, very cool, very cool device. Um, did think it was kind of odd. Had a couple of those little hiccup moments where the screen would freeze, but uh, maybe those will work themselves out in a future update. That'll do it for this Chromecast Google TV setup video. Really hope that this video helped you in figuring out how to set this up. If you have any questions that didn't answer the video, please, please feel free to leave it down in the comments below. Have a great day. Stay awkward.